Craig Lowndes is second. Jason Bright third. In fourth, Stephen Johnson. Fifth, Greg Murphy. Behind him is James Courtney. Then we've got Russell Engel, Alex Davison, Glenn Seaton, Paul Dumbrell. That makes up your top ten. And they're all in the game, folks. They're all on the lead lap. They're all nose to tail. The debris flag was being shown there. It's slippery. They're tippy-toeing to the top of the hill. They're on slick tyres. The track's wet and slippery. Brighty's sliding all the way through Reed Park on cold tyres. He's really got his hands full. And Junior's all over the back of him. He's trying to defend his position, Jason Bright, but they know. They know he's on cold tyres. Look at Stephen Johnson. Oh, wheel spin on McPhillamy, and this is a recipe for disaster. Johnson, Murphy, Courtney and Ingle. It's tippy-toe off the top. Winterbottom, Lowndes, Bright, Johnson, Murphy, Courtney, Ingle, Davison, Seaton, Dumbrell, the top ten. Jason Bright couldn't make it out. He's going to be passed here. He's wide. It was a slow exit. Junior's got warmth in the tyres. That's going to help him. Up on the inside, side by side, the Jim Beam car is ideally positioned, but Bright runs with him. He's got track position for the right-hander at the chase. Amazingly gutsy. Johnson goes deep, really deep into the chase. He gets that spot off Jason Bright. Oh, so oh, he's gone off and now Race Leader. Problem. Race Leader, Winterbottom off the road, drops a spot. That puts Craig Lowndes in the race lead. They all go firing past Mark Winterbottom. And the Dick Johnson Racing Team were winners out of that as well. Stephen Johnson now comes around and muscles Bright out of the way for second place. Murphy wants a piece of it. Courtney's in the battle as well. What a fascinating finish to this race. 13 laps to go. Our leader, car triple eight, the defending champion, Craig Lowndes. Lowndes has often got super skill in these conditions. We've seen it before. Wets are there if they need them. But Brighty really suffering on those cold tyres. Lounge, Stephen Johnson, Greg Murphy. Look at this pack. That was the gap as they head up the mountain. Johnson had this car in the wall before the shootout. The DJR crew have pieced it all back together and they've fought their way back into spot and now Winterbottom still sliding around. Contact with James Courtney. He's down in 12th and he's got huge traffic problems to deal with but Scape was massively quicker than everybody on that lap. And he's in the train. We waited and waited and waited for this race to explode. And now it has. It's all opened up and right into the wall big time. That was a huge impact. He's managed to bounce back but his day's done. He is out of the picture. So is Russell Ingle. And one of the HRT cars there. Ingle off at McPhillamy. I think that could have been Mark Scaife in two. I'll confirm it for you. It's diabolical up there. You've got to pay marks for having a go, but cold tyres have crueled the day for this bloke and his teammate Adam Macro. They were so, so close. OK, mate, there's a safety car out. We, we need to get you into pit lane as soon as possible. So close. They came in and took a gamble and it didn't work. It was a big impact. And Scaife is the other car involved. But separate incidents. I just saw him shoot off to the left of our screen and went wham into the side of the wall. Watch the leader. Huge, huge, huge moment through the chase. 300 kilometres an hour. Surfs out the other side. Oh. Almost rolls the Castrol forward. Gathers it up. Drops a bunch of spots. The race has gone off. And not for the first time, Craig Lowndes had to take evasive action at the end of the chase. This was his view of it. Look at Winterbottom goes off. By now, he is soaring through the air and somehow staying on the ground at the end of it. He'll come into picture again. Wham! That is out of control. How's your heart rate? A little bit lower, though, I reckon, than Mark Winterbottom's. That was the race lead going down. He caught the edge there. Oh. Man, that's scary. That is really scary, and so is this. 
second time that Lowndes has been involved in something like that today. This will unfold for car 25 up the top here. You'll see it. Oh, oh they both went in. So to have something hit. on the track there. And then Scaife as well. They all go in at exactly the same spot. Sparks fly. See the wheel light up against the concrete. The impact was already taken care of there by uh, the Fujitsu car. Ingle, Scaife and Bright, massive experience and knowledge there and all caught by the conditions. Watch this, you lose it here, slam, another car's already gone off in front of him into the wall. I should think oh, that, that might be Winterbottom. Or maybe Owen Kelly in the kitchen, no, he's not I reckon it was Johnson, then. I think it was the Jim Beam car. <laughs> so Mark Scaife's day is over. Lap 150 of this race.